Okay, so now that we've got our uh, spring cavity plate laid out here, we're going to go ahead and lay out the um, electronics cavity plate. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to go back to the body here where we've made our, uh, you know, we've kind of uh, made our design of how we want our plate to go. And I've just taken a, a piece of uh, uh, scrap packaging. Um, the, the main thing is that, yeah, here it is here. main thing is that it's transparent, that you can see through it. And uh, what I did was um, I just took a couple, I just laid it over top of the uh, body. And then uh, so I could see the line that was still uh, that I had drawn on the body. And I just traced around there, traced around that line, and then cut it out as accurately as possible. And uh, this is where we're at, so we've got this. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this to the body where it uh, needs to go. I'm going to put some double stick tape here, so I'm. Uh, just two little squares, just enough so that it, uh, whenever we flip this guitar over, um, it's, it keeps maintains its position. Uh, so we want to get them on there, and then we want to stick it down. And stick it down there. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. That looks like it's not going to move. And then what we need to do is we need to take um, our back here, and we need to place it on the instrument. And what we're looking for here. Um, in order to line this up, is we want to have the book match centered here at the at the back as well as at the front. But we also want to make sure that um, this this back is sitting proud on every single one of these surfaces here, because we want to make sure that we come back and we sand this to the uh, to the same profile as the sides that we don't end up short anywhere. And we're looking pretty good right there. Yeah, that's looking good there. So what I'm going to do. Is uh, a little bit more centered. Check that out now. And uh, yeah, we're still good. Okay, so now what we want to do is we just want to simply push down on this area where we've got that template uh, set up here. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, I guess it's uh, important to point out that after I set that piece of plastic on here. Um, I put more double-sided tape on it like I pretty much coated the entire thing with double-sided tape That way I know that when I go to peel these apart those two little squares of uh, double-sided tape that I used to attach to the body Those are gonna let go before you know this uh, Larger amount of tape that I have that's attaching uh, the back here to that template So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna lift it off carefully And there you go And that registers where we need to trace. So you see that stuck to the body now. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to trace around there. And when we get that done, uh, we will have exactly where our cover is going to be and we'll know that it's going to line up with the, the electronics cavity here, uh, the way that we've actually designed it. So, uh, we, now that we got those all laid out, uh, what we need to do is we need to cut them out. And we're going to be using the, um, we're going to be using the scroll saw for that. Now what I've done is I've taken this over to the drill press and um, I've drilled little 1 16th holes in each of the four corners of the uh, square cover plate here and on this one, uh, this rounded one, I've just, I've just drilled one 1 16th hole right here. Uh, because, uh, reason being is because uh, I'm not going to get 90 degree corners uh, with, the, with the scroll saw. I mean, uh, I, I could get them close, but not exactly 90 degrees. So I'm going to do this in actually four cuts. So I'll run the blade up to here. Um, I will take the piece out, move into a different position, uh, you know, lock the blade back down and everything, and then I'll do this cut, and then I'll do that same thing going around each one of the sides on here. But on this, uh, you know, circular type one, um, I'm going to I'm going to do it all in one in one cut. So we only need one access hole there. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do is um, we'll set up the set up the scroll saw and uh, I'll show you how um, we're gonna actually do this uh, to get it as perfect as possible because we got zero, pretty much zero margin for error here because the more error that we have in these cuts, the wider the, um, the, wider the gap is gonna be um, between the body and the, uh, and the plate itself. So we have to make sure that we got these nice and accurate so that whenever we slip them on, um, all of these, uh, these gaps here between the, um, between the plate and the body are as, as small as possible. 
Okay, so uh, we'll set up the scroll saw and we'll get going on that. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got our uh, scroll saw uh, pretty much set up, not quite all the way because there's a couple things I've got to show you here um, how we're going to do this. Um, so I've got my blade in and I've got it attached to the bottom blade holder here securely. And I haven't attached to the top yet and I haven't put the, um, I haven't put the hold down foot on yet. Just a little bit tricky and it looks like we're right there. Okay. Just carefully position it down there on the blade. And uh, get it turned to roughly where you want it here. Then you want to take the blade and you want to secure it to the top. Um, it's the top blade holder here. So Okay, we're looking pretty good there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this blade as straight as possible here. And then we're just going to tension the blade up, get it to a proper tension, about three turns usually, depending on your on your machine. But most machines are about that to get it to proper tension, maybe just a little bit more there. Uh, that's, that's pretty good there. Okay, so now because we're in the work, we're going to be starting this thing up. Uh, we really got to make sure that everything is secure and everything so we'll make sure that it's uh, sitting you know so it's going to start cutting on the right on the uh, right path uh, straight away but we also want to make sure that it's not going to move around this way or anything like that too so that's just one thing to take in consideration when you're um, when you're getting ready to cut this so we're going to drop this uh, hold down foot bracket here and we're going to we're going to install the hold down foot. Now this is something every time that you uh, take this piece out and move it around, you're going to have to take this uh, this hold down foot off. Uh, kind of a pain in the butt, but it's kind of necessary to in order to get this done as accurately as we want it. Okay, so position that so that the blade is right in the center of the groove here. Okay, looking good. It looks like we're yeah, that's going to hold our piece down. Um, maybe just drop it down a little bit more if we can. That's pretty good there. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. A couple other things though. Um, this saw does have um, a dust blower built into it. Uh, I don't find it works that well. So I'm going to use uh, just a different one that I have here. It's just a fish pump that I uh, have laying around the shop and it's great for you know, uh, cutting inlays and stuff like that. And uh, it does the same thing that the built-in one does. It just has more power and we like power. Uh, this one takes the dust completely away and you never lose sight of the line. So, uh, you know, usually when I set this thing up, I take the extra time to set up a fish pump with it so that, uh, so that we get our best possible results. Okay, so we're almost ready to go here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this light on and I'm probably going to use a magnifying light just to make things even that much more easier on me. Uh, it'll also help me to see the pencil line a little bit better. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try and start at the back of the hole if we possibly can. There's not a whole lot of clearance here to begin with, so, um, so you want to make sure that the teeth, whenever you start to sing up, the teeth aren't going to, aren't touching any wood. Uh, right off the hop. Uh, you don't want it to start cutting until you're ready to start actually positioning it where it needs to be. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the lowest, almost the lowest setting. So it'd be about 500 to 600 RPMs. And we're just going to go really, really slow on this, making sure that we stay on the pencil line and uh, just taking our time. Uh, the straighter we get this, the better. Um, it's really imperative that this one be straight because we're dealing with uh, straight lines and if there's any discrepancy in a straight line you're going to be a lot more prone to see it as um, you know you'll, you see it a lot easier than, it, in, than if it were like a, an arc or a curving line. A curving line you can always kind of you know jimmy it a little bit to make it look right but uh, straight lines they're pretty unforgiving. So uh, I'm going to shut my app and go ahead and start cutting this thing now and uh, like I said just nice and slow 
uh, work slow, um, concentrate on keeping it on the line. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now that this uh, dust blower is paramount. It's a must if you're going to be doing this um, with with a, uh, a scroll saw like this because um, as soon as you get any kind of dust on top of the surface here, the line just literally disappears, and you know, and that's when you start getting into trouble with um, you know with your accuracy. So we're going to plug this uh, fish pump in here, get it going. It's a nice lulling, humming sound. Okay, so we've got uh, got this square plate cut out. I'm just gonna lift this up here, and unplug that. There we go. A little bit quieter for us here. And I'm gonna go ahead and undo the blade. <coughs> And I'm just gonna pull our piece of work through here. There we've got our square cut, cut out of there. Okay. And now we're gonna work on the electronics cavity. So we're gonna set this thing aside here. And uh, actually, one thing I am gonna do here is I'm going to line this back up again here and I'm going to mark uh, which one is front and back. I'll just put an arrow towards the uh, towards the next side here. Just for reference, I, I'm, you know, I might not need that for anything later, but I might need it and I'd like to have it, you know, set up while I can, just in case I do need that location for anything. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Drop this on the blade again. This time in this position here. A little bit tricky. There she goes. This takes a little bit of positioning, and, but uh, we got her. Okay, so let's drop this down a little bit. Oops. Drop that down, let's drop this down. Okay, that's not completely dropped down yet. We just want to get it out of our way so we can tighten this, tighten this back down again here. Okay. Feels like it's 
pretty good there. So now we're just going to tension the blade back up again here. Get in there some good tension. Okay, so now this one here is going to be a little bit tricky. So we're just going to, uh, you know, work away at it as good as we can. And um, this one we have a little bit more play with. Just because, you know, if we go off the side of our line a little bit, it's not, not going to really matter as long as um, it doesn't affect uh, the arched look of uh, these curves. So as long as there's still nice swooping arcs or whatever and nice and uh, fairly straight. We have one straight area here that we've got to concentrate on. But um, as long as we've got those things taken care of, then we should be okay. Looks like we're in the center of our hole there, right there. And uh, here we go. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and remove this here. Just come running out of space on my uh, SD card, so hopefully we'll get this here. Pull my work out. Okay, and there we go. So we've got our two holes cut out. And this is our uh, cavity here. We're going to have to clean them up just a little bit, but it looks like they turned out pretty good. So we're going to uh, put this away, and then we're going to set up to uh, sand and straighten those, uh, straighten those cuts out.